Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the value of k for which these given trinomial become a perfect square. So we'll be working on these two examples. In order to get a full understanding of this topic, please watch this video till the very end for additional practice problems. And let's get started with the very first example. In this example, our trinomial is x squared minus kx plus 5, 29. And we want to find the value of k for which this trinomial becomes a perfect square. And we know that a perfect square trinomial will always have a discriminant b squared minus 4ac equal to 0. So let's go ahead and calculate the value of this discriminant. And for that purpose, we need to find the value of A, B, and C. So let's compare this trinomial with our standard form of this quadratic expression. If we compare these ones, we know that our A is going to be 1 and our b is going to be negative k and c is going to be positive 529. So let's go ahead and calculate the value of b squared minus 4ac. We know that b in our case is negative k. We take the square of that thing minus 4 times a is 1 and c is 529 and we set it equal to 0. Let's simplify this negative k square. It's going to become positive k square and when we multiply these one that is going to give us negative 21 16 equal to 0. Let's move this negative 21 16 on the other side. So k square turns out to be positive 21 16 now we want to get rid of this square of this k let's take the square root on both sides so we simply got k equal to positive or negative square root of 2 1 1 6 and now let's focus on this square root of 200, 2116. And here I have simplified this radical and turns out to be a 2 times square root of 529. So I'm going to go ahead and write down k turns out to be equal to positive negative 2 times square root of 529. Thus our k values turned out to be either 2 times square root of 529 or negative 2 times square root of 529 and that is our answer. And here is our next example. We want to find the value of k such that this trinomial becomes a perfect square. And we know that a perfect square trinomial will always have a discriminant b square minus 4ac equal to 0. That means we must find the value of this discriminant. For, for that purpose, we need to find the values of a, b, and c. So let's go ahead and compare this trinomial with our standard form of this quadratic expression. So we can see that our a is 17, b equals to negative k, and c equal to positive 3. So let's calculate b squared minus 4ac now. As we know that b is negative k, so this becomes negative k squared minus 4 times a is 17 and c is 3 set it equal to 0. Let's simplify. This simply become k square minus this simply become 2, 0, 4, 
equal to 0 let's move this 204 negative 204 on the other side becomes positive 204 let's take the square root on both sides to undo this square so we simply got k equals to positive or negative square root of 204 and now let's focus on the square root of 204 and here on the right hand side I have simplified this radical and this turns out to be a 2 times square root of 51 so I can write k as positive or negative 2 times square root of 51. So thus our k values turns out to be a 2 times square root of 51 or negative 2 times square root of 51 that is our answer. And here it is your assignment. Can you do it on your own now? You can take your time. Luckily I have already uploaded this video as well. Please go ahead and check it out and see the correct answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.